guys, welcome back to another episode of Slime Quest TV. Today we're talking about bait tanks. Had a lot of questions about a bait tank I put up on Facebook the other day. And this system has been excellent for me. And I know a lot of you guys, and I know I've messed with a ton of bait tanks in the past. And the one thing I've done is lose a lot of bait. If I had a dollar for every bait I've lost over the last 15, 20 years, I'd probably have a brand new Ranger boat right now. Uh, I'm sick of losing bait. Maggie, she actually told me just over the summer, I've had a lot of tanks out in my garage and, you know, they get warm and the, the fish are pooping in there and the nitrate level gets too high and the fish end up dying and I end up throwing them in her garden and the garden's growing like crazy. Good, good fertilizer, but she's sick of it. I'm sick of it. So I decided to finally make a good permanent tank in my basement and the secret of this whole tank and I'm no professional my buddy Marty John Dora he helped me through this uh, escapade here with this biological filter and I think the thing that you guys are really wondering about is this biological filter and not really the tank because the tank I mean there's not too much creativity on a tank a tank's a tank but the filter is the heart of the tank and I'm going to show you guys a little bit about this biological filter and a little bit how I have this tank set up. And there's a, there's many different ways you can look on any uh, YouTube uh, video here. And there's a ton of ways to set up a biological filter, whether it be a uh, biological filter that overflows into the tank or a tank that overflows into a biological filter. I have this tank set up where it overflows into this biological filter through these 200 micron screens filtering the water. Plus, I have a cancer filter set up too that filters about 260 or 250 gallons per hour just to get some good clarity. I think the biological filter through those 20, 200 milligram or micron socks will filter it pretty good, but an extra little cancer filter for 65 bucks was a no-brainer for me just to keep this water nice and clear all the time so I can see how much bait I have in there, have no problem netting them out. So let's get right into it. What I have here is just a garbage can. It doesn't have to be a fancy brute garbage can like this. I know these ones are kind of expensive. It's just something I had laying around for a bait tank I had set up last year. So in this tank, in the very center, in the very center of this tank, I have a 500 gallon pond, a pond pump. You can get them right at Menards. I actually got this one off Amazon. I'll leave a link descriptive below. But in the very center of this tank, this biological filter, is that is that pump I got some pipe you just rigid piped it in it's not very easy I just glued all this stuff made sure I had it dry and uh, and not so it wouldn't contaminate the tank before I turned everything on but this pump pumps water right straight back to the back of the tank and comes in right through that white tube right there you can see it blowing some good water in that filter is coming out of the biological filter it then comes in the tank swirls around and overflows through this bulkhead fitting right here and I'll have a link for this below too it's a nice rubber fitting that, that screws to your tank and then you can screw a one inch male adapter in the back of it I also have one on the opposite side that's fitted around it's it's pitched towards the towards the biological filter I have them both draining into this biological filter through these 200 micron socks these 200 micron socks relatively cheap i think they're like a three or four bucks a piece on uh, amazon i'll leave a link for these below too but you can see all the good all the good stuff that this thing is is kept clean out of this tank so after it overflows out of the tank in this biological filter i have these sponge pads nylon scrub pads super cheap you can get these things on amazon for for relatively cheap too uh, I think they're, I mean, about 15 bucks. It gets you about 30 or 40 of these things, or 50 of them, whatever they may be. But this right here is actually what holds on to the good bacteria from these fish that kill the nitrates. How this good bacteria sets up is by having fish in this tank that eat constantly and poop constantly. It then builds up the good bacteria on this sponge pad and gets rid of all the nitrates in the water and most all the causes of fish illness and death and stress is from high nitrates or chlorine 
I'm also going to talk to you a little bit about chlorine and chlorine filtration because I have city water. You can see my water meter right here. And uh, chlorine will kill the fish too, but nitrates are the number one thing that's going to kill fish. And this good bacteria on these sponges is what's going to kill those nitrates as all this water passes through here. It's a 500 gallon per hour pump. 500 gallons are pumping through this thing constantly. And I actually have some other stuff down here in the bottom of this filter. Let me get, let me get my hands in here real fast. I'll show you what else I have down here. If you're looking for any kind of plastic, I actually have a bunch of one inch pipe. Just one inch pieces of pipe cut up in little pieces. There's a ton of surface area inside and out on all these. You want, and it's plastic. Plastic holds onto that good bacteria really well and it's gonna get that good bacteria growing. Over time, all the stuff in this biological filter will get dark, but in like algae looking, but that is that good bacteria that's gonna filter through there. It's a very simple setup. Pump right in the center, pumping into the tank, overflowing back into this biological filter. The thing is, a lot of guys are having a hard time with getting the suckers to eat and put off that waste that creates the good bacteria. So what Marty told me is he's recommended getting a dozen or two dozen goldfish, put them in your tank, feed them some fish flakes once a day, get them eating and pooping all the time, and that's what's going to help you guys build up that good bacteria in your biological filter. If you guys never feed them and they never produce any waste, that good bacteria is going to die. I also have a canister filter set up on this tank. This is a 250 gallon per hour filter. This actually only costs about 65 bucks on Amazon. And like I said before, for the pump, the overflow fittings, this filter, I'm all gonna have links in the description below for Amazon. It's relatively cheap. I think this whole system with this actual tank cost me about 200 bucks. Let's talk about some other stuff here. I actually just drilled holes. In, in this tank, I got the filter, the canister filter. Comes in, comes, sucks water in from the back, from the very bottom comes around through the canister filter back in the front right at the top that's that's moving about 265 gallons per hour the biological filter the pump in here is doing about 500 gallons per hour so it's actually recirculating this is a 275 gallon tank so it's recirculating every bit of this water in the tank three times an hour that is going to help tremendously with keeping a good amount of bait in there i just have one bubbler in the middle here which isn't a whole lot, but it's getting a lot of recirculation, air, and stuff coming from this biological filter. I had about a foot drop between this uh, 200 micron filter sock and the water. So it's getting good aeration there, and it's getting some good aeration from this aerator I have just off of a regular fish tank bubbler here. Um, it's nothing really fancy. You know, it's just something, you know, I, I always thought about it. It's like, oh, it's super complicated. It's not really super complicated. It takes a little while to get the tank set up, biological filter set up, good bacteria set up in this biological filter. But after that, I mean, it's it's super easy. 50, 60 bucks for a good a good filter. You don't have to have a big 250 gallon tank like this. Um, you can have, shit, you can have it in a Tupperware. Uh, in, in past, I've had tanks set up just, you know, horse troughs and, and big garbage cans, uh, drums. Um, so I hope you guys, uh, so this helped some of you guys and, you know, look into it, check out some other videos, see your options. There's many different ways to do a biological filter like this, but, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and stick with us for the next one.